for my first batch, I took the major batch and I decided to make slime. So, uh, first of all, we need to know what is slime. So slime is actually a non-Newtonian uh, material. A non-Newtonian material is like a material that reverses the uh, Newton laws. Like if you uh, give a high pressure to this material, uh, it'll fight by the uh, pressure and it works on the other way also. If you uh, give a just a low pressure to the materials, you can uh, go, uh, go along with your pressure. Uh, if you can see my uh, screen that I speak, I'm, I currently, I'm holding the slime that I made. And uh, I just want to show you that uh, it's like this. If you uh, give a high pressure, it's just break, and it's just it will it will feel like uh, the slime is uh, against your pressure. Like it can it can feel hard, but if you just uh, give a small pressure, it will go along with your um, pressure. And then uh, there are some. A uh, function of slime. Uh, first one is toy, of course. It's a toy. Um, uh, many many children like to make slime with their parents, and the other function uh, next to them is uh, to strengthen the relationship between parents and uh, their children. It also can work as a cleaning tool uh, because of the texture that is sticky. It can help you to clean your phone or your laptop from dust or any other stuff. And then you can also, when you play with it, uh, it uh, gives you the feeling of satisfying and it helps you to real, relieve or relieve your stress. And uh, one fact that I, um, that I found is that by making slime, it's a good way to learn chemistry because children will uh, learn about what's in a material that makes, uh, makes the slime. And there are some uh, theory about how slime uh, came in the first place. Uh, the first one is uh, a research or yeah, a research done by two Nobel laureates Gulionata and Carl Ziger in 1963. They studied about polymer and the like, yeah, about the polymer. And the second one is James Wright. Uh, this version talks about he made the slime like accidentally. He was gonna uh, try to make a synthesis polymer to help America in fighting World War II, but it ended up to be a slime. And the third version of the history is a uh, metal toy company. Uh, it is believed by many people, uh, slime, the first slime is made by metal toy company in 1976. So before we, uh, make our slime, there are some things that we need first. Uh, things that we need to help us to make the slime is the first one is bowl or any other container that we can use to pour in the, slime, the, the mixture. And then a teaspoon or something to stir that we can use to mix the slime uh, better. And some materials. So in this, uh, in my tutorial, I use three materials. So the first one is clear glue. And the second one is soap. These two materials act as the base of the slime. And then the third one is hydros. Hydros here acts as the slime activator. A slime activator is a material that, uh, that forms the slime, the texture of slime. It changed the mixture of uh, soap and 
clear glue into more of the slime. And also you can use food coloring, but it's up to you, it's optional. If you, you can also add glitter if you want to make your slime to be more um, attractive. So how to make it? The first one is we need to, of course, pour the bottle of clear glue to the bowl. And then we can add food coloring, but if, if you want, if you want to add food coloring and then mix it, mix them well. And um, as I mentioned before, uh, you can either use food coloring or not. It's up to you. If you prefer to not use them, you can skip these two steps and then just jump into the fourth step. Uh, the fourth one is add the body soap. Like uh, the, the body soap needs to be in liquid form because if it's just it's stick, it, it is a stick soap, it cannot work uh, because body soap uh, makes the mixture of glue to be more thicker and to be more uh, to be more of a slime. And mix them well until the mixture become more like a slime because uh, in this step we need to uh, put the soap little by little and then mix it again and do it over again and over and over again until it is thick enough. And after it is, uh, we feel that the mixture is thick enough. We can add eye drops. Uh, it is similar to when we add soap. It is when little by little, and we mix it until we get the texture of slime. And then, uh, yeah, we mix them until it becomes slime, and it uh, the texture becomes less sticky. And the last step is take the slime out of the bowl or uh, the container and mix with your hands. If you already use your hand to mix the slime while, while the material or the mixture is still sticky, it's okay. Uh, just add the uh, eye drops little by little until it becomes actually a slime. Because if you are afraid to like get dirty or messy, um, it's not a uh, it's not a really fun thing to do when you mix slime because uh, getting make, getting messy or uh, dirty when making slime, what makes uh, the process of making slime is fun. So this is a preview of a slime that I made. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And some challenges that I um, encountered when I do these badges, uh, the, the list of two, 10 things. The first, it, it is on level one. And I found out that it is quite challenging because there are many things that I can make. And yeah, it's just difficult to decide what are the things that I want to make. And then, Narrow down to two because all of the 10 things is really great to do or to make. But um, I asked uh, Justin for help. Like I asked her to recommend me some things and yeah, she recommended me about the slime. Slime is one of the list of 10 things. And yeah, I decided to make slime. And the other challenge that I, another challenge that I, Phase was looking for sources because I thought that sources only from the URI library. So I asked Panda about the sources and he told me that we can use any other resource as long as uh, your source is credible. And yeah, before I experiment with it, I, I, I bought the wrong material. But yeah, thanks to Anna, Aleda, and Derek, 
uh, and also Justin, all of them helped me to uh, decide what materials did I use for making my slime and experimenting the slime. At first, I used too much eye drops and it becomes like this. It becomes so, this becomes very hard and it's not even a slime. But then after experimenting for about three or four times, I finally got the slime that is really playable. So this all for me. Thank you. Uh, are there any questions? No, no question so far, but I'm gonna applause now. Hey, okay, I'm done. Now I know why I love slime so much because it comes from where I grew up. And my uncle used to work for Mattel toy company. So I probably used to have a lot of slime when I was a kid. Pretty cool. I did not know that Mattel invented slime. <clears throat> uh, Chris, I want to ask. Of course. Uh, since the materials that you use uh, like have like um, chemistry thing, like like something that is probably dangerous for kids. So why they? I mean, a lot of people create like slime for kids, even though they know it's like it contains like chemistry chemical things that are probably harmful for kids. So yeah, that's the question. I think. Uh, Thank you. I think the parents just let their children to make slime, even though uh, the slime contain uh, like some chemicals that can be harmful for them. But I think they just, they they don't they don't just let their kids make slime without their guidance, right? So I think they just make let their children to make slime, but with their guidance, so the children can know both how to make something but to make it also with caution even though the chemical my guess chris is that when i was a when i was a kid it was probably very dangerous we did a lot of things like that it's pro we probably my whole generation probably has brain damage that's probably why the world is so screwed up but uh <laughs> i'm sure that over the years, the um, materials have gotten less toxic. I'm sure that they have discovered safer materials. They would never, they would never put toxic materials in the hands of children now, because especially in this country, there are too many lawsuits that would happen if they did. So yeah, that's true. I thank you, Professor, because I found out that they many people use borax and it's kind of toxic uh, and it's not a uh, really safe for children so I search about some recipes that uh, the, that do not use borax to make slime. Other than the glue everything else looks relatively safe so I guess my question would be is there a is there a non-toxic glue that could be used? That would be something worth finding out. I think the glue is not toxic. It's it's safe as long as you because I use this uh, glue that we can find in uh, any store that sells stuff for school and mm -hmm. uh, children usually use this to like stick their paper to one another. Okay. So I think it's not toxic. That's probably not toxic, right? Is that the white glue? Or is that a clear glue? This is a clear glue. Okay. Um, Anna wants to know, oh, no, Anna's comment is that teenagers eat Tide Pods for laundry. So, okay. T well, teenagers are stupider than young kids, though. So, <laughs> Mo? Anna, the way you understand the culture runs deep. Some things, I guess, are the same all over the world. Did you have a question, Mo? 
small questions. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so how do how long do it last? I mean forever or just few weeks, few days? I think it, it'll last uh, uh yeah, pretty long as long as not like uh just in you sit it in open area and it uh get the wind or air because I I leave this line overnight and it becomes less more slimy. But it still, uh, it still works. But if you, uh, if you put it in a uh, place and then you cover it, so the air can uh, contain the contaminate the slime. I think it will last uh, quite long. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. How long does anything have to last with kids anyway? Eventually, they're either gonna eat it or, like, feed it to their dog or something. Um, Bro, why is it always related to eating? <laughs> it either us eating it or the dog eat it. Why can't you just use it for something else? It's what we do. Christian, I have one more question. Um, you mentioned that you had a tough de decision with all the options that you could have made different things. Can you tell us what you didn't choose? What else was on the list? Of course. Um... It's like I, I also forget what's sitting there. That's right. I remember we discussed a couple of things and you said you had more. So These are the things that I was trying to make. So make the bookshelf out of cupboards or pencil case out of used bottles, a bedside lamp out of sewing uh, thread. It's like you use balloons and you stick with uh, glue and you make the, uh, the lamp cover and make straighter for the lamp, bedside lamp. And a hanging basket for a decorative plants, a piggy bank out of these materials such as bottles or cans, slime of course, and origami, it's like uh, folded papers, Japanese old papers, and use it as decorative uh, things in houses. And painting out of eggshells, uh, I can make necklace out of a coconut shell, and then a wallet uh, from used materials such as um, plastic or stuff like that. Okay. Thanks. And you're going to include that in your badge material, right? That list is in there. Mm -hmm.